Okay, so today what I want to do is to take a bit of a side road for a moment away from the render system, because as part of that, I've kind of realized that there's some other integral part of the component pool that needs to be done before then. Now, when interacting with a component pool and the maintenance cycle, like there's a very obvious uh, how the you know the ability to ter determine what was been had been inserted or removed in the maintenance cycle is like integrated into the component pool, no problem. However, there is no current mechanism for determining you know uh, modified items. So the most uh, obvious example of where this could be a real issue is to do with position component data. A position can be modified by any number of things, animation, uh, physics system, uh, just some other logic, teleportation logic, whatever. And there's no great way to do, to do like a list of things that were modified as part of the component pool itself, like as being originated from the component pool, because of course, these are handled by different systems. And as you go through those systems in, let's say, a tick, like let's say the physics system mod uh, does runs and modifies things, then the animation system, then some other logical system. You don't want you preferably what you want is to have different like modify lists for each um, for each system that can modify the position. You don't because like you know as you roll through a tick, of course. If the position, uh, sorry, if the physics system modifies things first, then of course the following two systems should know what that physics system modified. But of course, like when they cut, when the um, system loops through to come back to the physics system, you don't want to ha the physics system to have to re-figure uh, out the things that it modified from the last round. It wants to figure out what the other two after it modified, but not about itself. So what I want to do is to create a new, uh, what I'm going to call entity list for the moment, which just has, which just allows like each system to have its own list that it gives to the component pool to say, hey, you can redistribute this because I'm modifying things in my, during my time. And other systems can like pull that list, those lists in this case, to figure out like if they you know want to pay attention to this modified entity. Uh, is that? I don't know if that's really follows through or is logical enough, but that's the general idea of what I'm trying to do. And hopefully, as I actually build it, it'll make a bit more sense. <clears throat> so. To begin with, I need to create a new file, which is called entity list. Not H for the moment. Uh, we'll grab it as 2023. That's great. FO, ECS, entity list. Just plain old H. I need to include bow handle. The wall. Can I please bow? Handle bow results bow um, ECS ID at the moment, and I need to export. Oh. Uh, I need the C stuff standard def maybe. Uh, I probably would need this for size T. No, standard int, I think. Because I'll go with UN32s for counts. Okay. So, of course, go ECS entity list. This is the bit, this is the opaque handle that we'll be interacting with. ECS export for creation. So, go ECS create. Entity list. Um, right. Uh, is there anything else I need with this? I don't really think so. So just entity list. Star P new. Or just entity list. How I do it. Void. Uh, 
destroyed. Oh, ECS destroy the dang thing. Okay, now for the interesting things. Uh, there are... It's only really three things, right? First, I want to be able to set the list. Or reset the list. Each, like... The idea being that the, the, the physics system will collect, run things in parallel, collect a number of sublists of entities that it modified, and then pass all those lists uh, through to this, which will then put them all into one long contiguous uh, sorted array, I think. And then you want to be able to like get how many they were and get the... the uh, pointer to that list. So export. Uh oh, result set set uh entity list or reset. I think it's reset will make more sense because you're replacing it rather rather than just changing it. Reset versus set? Ah whatever. I don't I don't know. I do not know. We get this and we've got a, the uh, list count. This is the, the number of lists I'm going to have that I'm going to be passed in. Because I don't want to have to, like... Because the idea is, of course, you're processing things in parallel. So you'll have a number of, diff uh, of different lists ready to go. That you just, Rather than, as part of the system, then merging all those lists and sorting all those lists and then passing that one larger list just for it to be copied again into this function into the system, you want to just pass <clears throat> those lists, those smaller lists, through, and then just have, like, the one large contiguous allocation happen just by this. So say the, say, uh, a bit of a savings um, memory copying garbage-wise. So each P entity... So each list has a count itself. So this is the number of lists. This is how much each list has. And then, of course, const star star const like that. Pt entity lists, and we want to const these as well, like that. <clears throat> that just leaves so ECS export uh, un thirty two t. It's going to be like oh ECS entity. List size. And pointer, I guess. And that should be enough for the moment. Like, I can envision perhaps another entity with something that's closer to like the entity offset list, which then might be modified by the component pool when it ticks over to account for insertions and removals. But for now, it's just going to be the plain old, the easiest type, which is going to be just the entity list. You just pass that in. You don't have to do any fancy calculations. And on the other side, like when you're reading the list, you can say, oh, well, this guy doesn't exist anymore, whatever kind of deal. <clears throat> right. Uh, source. C? CPP? I could just do this in C. Yeah. So let's add this to here. That's not great. Do this one, please. Whoops. Nope. Nope. That. Include results.h. Include. We'll be doing mem copy. So string.h. And we'll need uh, for alloc. Malloc, I should say. Standard lib.h, I think. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, pipe def struct entity list. You went 32 T capacity. 
basically T count. And that doesn't really matter, does it? Put those together and then Actually, it makes a bit more sense to kind of have it the other way around. Do that, and then first thing will be ID const star. Like that, yeah. Or it doesn't actually matter internally. ID list. Yeah. Entity list. Find the handle cast between entity list and entity list and the entity list and then we proceed on to these that 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 so we'll get these two out of the way they're nice and easy so entity list star entity list equals entity list from handle of entity list Do the same thing here, return p list p list. Count, okay. And probably I'll also want to add some capacity stuff as well later. But for now, simple. Keep it simple. Um yeah, just yeah, just keep it simple. Entity list start the new entity list equals malloc of size of entity list. Okay, this is not findable. Yeah, so this is standard lib. Great. Null. If that, then we need to return to a result of yes error out of memory. Otherwise, we need uh, to mem set the new is list zero size of that. Then entity list equals entity list. To handle a p new entity list to result success. I think that's it, really. All right. Uh, now we just do this one. This. Which is just simply free p entity list of p list, and then we just free the entity list itself. Yeah, if this is null, then that doesn't matter. That does nothing, right? Let me double check. Okay, uh, if pointer is null pointer, the function does nothing. Perfect. So the only real interesting logic of this whole thing is this, where, okay, first of all, we do this, we grab that, we say, hey, uh, total count is going to start at zero. Then I need to go through this count. And I need to figure out total count e plus equals t entity list counts of i. Then I need to figure out the capacity stuff. So if p entity list um, capacity is less than total count, I guess I'll just kind of like just do that. And I won't. Sh and right now, I won't have logic for shrinking it back down to desired capacity or whatever. Minimal capacity. It's the copy it maybe. Maybe, maybe. Anyways, so entity 
ID star P new allocation. New list. Hold new list equals malloc. Just going to be total count. So entity ID. If P new list equals null, then if we fail, we need to return this. And otherwise, do I need to? I don't need to memset. Uh, what I'm going to do, I don't need to copy data over. So I just free the current one, P list, and say, um, P entity list, P list equals P new list. Let's split that up just a little bit. P entity list capacity equals total count. Then we just go through if total count is greater than zero, so there's something to copy. With the end being p entity list um, count equal total count. Success. Okay. Copy the new content in. I'm currently assuming... Okay, I'm going to make my life a little bit easier right here. I'm going to assume that the lists are being given to me in... So the entities in the lists I'm being given are in ascending pre-sorted order. And, yeah, like entirely. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do some kind of sorting in here, which I don't really feel like doing. Not yet. I'll I'll just keep I'll just keep it easy for now. It's the ID star P destination equals P list um that going through the list count. You're just gonna do mem copy. P destination, P entity lists of I, which is P entity list counts I times size of well, entity ID. We set P destination plus equals uh, that. Okay. The others... Uh, okay, okay. So the flip side of this is, of course, having to integrate this into the component pool. Which not... The idea is that this would be created by each system, saying, like, this is my... I am the owner of this list, and I update with what I modified. And then others can access it through the component. But the only... Um, common point between all the systems will be the component pool that they're all looking at or connect, you know, that they have. So the idea is that the system will create one of these lists and then say, Hey, I want this component pool. I want to add that list to this component pool. And then later like systems can read, um, can read all of the lists, I think. Yeah. And then, like, the system can filter out its own list. Somehow. <laughs> in some in some way. Uh, it, 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 yeah, yeah. Whatever. First draft. Here we go. Uh, po result set, which is going to be like po ECS. Pool add com, um, the list. This is the list. 
That means I'm going to have to include load ECS and delist. Okay, great. That. Okay, then I need to remove. Um, I need to get the number of entity lists. Entity list size from the component pool. And then what I would want to do. So that's, is that a void? No, that won't be a void. Yeah, that'll be a void. Uh, this will be a size T, I guess. And then we have oh, list fonts star entity lists, and I'll return that. So component pool. I need some things here. Modified entity lists, I guess. Just entity lists. They're, 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 they've been modified. I mean, that's really the only purpose is to say that they've been modified. Ah, oh, nope. Um, okay, let's just slap these at the bottom. Two, three, four, okay. With that, I need to extern C. Grab the component pool, okay. Okay, okay, and okay. Oh, and here. Reallocate a larger array if necessary. Wait, I already use a vector, right? So why don't I just do that? Yeah. Lists, lusts. Sure. Um, T component pool modify dot data. That's how we're returning that return. Modify dot size. Otherwise, uh, I don't need to do this then. Um, I guess just add modified into this dot place back entity list. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to capture allocation failures right now. That's unfortunate. Whatever. Turn that. And lists. And iterator. Plus plus iterator. If. Make that nice and const. We can just do that. If. Iterator equals, sorry, star, point to operate, uh, thing, equals that. Then I want to erase and then break. Actually, yeah, so e component pool modify dot erase, iterator, and then break out. And we're done. We pass through. We're out. We're just voiding it. So 
So system ads, remove that and that. Okay. <sighs> what about... I'd want tests, some some basic tests. So, um, yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay, so those are written out. So there's only really two things. There's the initial state and resetting with data. No data, single list of data, multiple, blah, multiple lists of data. Unfortunately, I forgot that uh, I did not name this correctly, which is a bit of a not great. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now will you build? Yeah, okay. Let's make sure of that that oh man, I should also add um test for adding it to the component pool. I really should. Okay, let me... Hmm. Yeah, let me do that real quick. So I'll I just, again, I'll just go over this part of the set of tests. Initial state, you know, uh, there's nothing. And there's, the size has to be zero. It may return, like if I check uh, the data pointer, it may return something, may not. Doesn't really matter because it's zero. You shouldn't be once typically in logical code. Like once you hit this, then you should just stop. Uh, same thing here. Uh, this, this. So this does work, right? Yeah, ECS passed. Great. And I did add it, right? I did add it. I did add it. Okay, great, great, great. Um, so no list. I didn't add anything. This. Set or uh, sorry, a reset with a zero and no other data given. It sets to zero. I should probably add something. Okay, actually, yeah, that's true. If I do this inside of this, I want to make sure that it resets to zero. And same thing here. With no data. So it does, right? Does that. That'd be really good to know that I can reset it multiple times. As expected. Yes. Okay. Now for the component pool entity list. Okay. Yeah. And then what we're going to want to do is to <clears throat> add. Okay. So that's the last thing I need to do then. So initially, there are no associated entity lists with the component pool. I add. I checked that there's none and that this is no actually this again this doesn't matter because maybe null pointer may not be leave it like that that's fine uh adding and removing a single entity list we got the, do that we add the list make sure there's one list and we check that the one item on the list is provided is a list this uh, i still need to add the result set for that i'm gonna yeah I just do that just do it so that I can have some, it's better to have some feedback. So like in the future, I can modify this to actually return if it failed for whatever reason. I'd rather do that. Or no. Right now it doesn't do anything. I'd rather change it later when it actually is something. So let's actually, no, go back. Go back, 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 back. Moving the list, just um, uh, just check that it's not there. Okay, uh, remove the list. Make sure it's no longer there. Then we do the same thing for multiple lists. Create component pool. Create a set of lists, twelve of them. Add them in split fashion first, uh, half, and then the other half. Wait, what? Whoops, I screwed this up, didn't I? I is less than size. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, the second half, and then the first half. And then I check that they're all there. Through the find. And then I say, remove every other one. Check that that is as expected, and then clean up the rest, and we're done. Okay. 
So that could work. So we'll build that. And it does. Okay, so, whoa, maybe it doesn't. Or is this something else? Oh, this is the Vulcan. Something to do with Vulcan. But not what I'm looking at. So, make CTOV uh, test for oh, PCS. Make sure that the code coverage is there as expected. So. Uh, that. That, 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 and open with Chromium. Okay. So we've got the component pool, which is uh, basically everything again, except um, obviously I need to test some things in here. I need to improve that. But at the bottom is what we care. I'm not actually. I didn't even add this, did I? No. And I separated it into a separate uh, file to make it a bit more easier to read, I guess. I'll probably start doing that more often as I add more stuff. Make sure that this is actually in the same order as it appears in the file system. Let's redo that. Redo that. Okay. F5. Yes. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're great. Great. Fantastic. Uh, moving back. 86% and 83%. Oh, really? It's the same thing. Okay. Okay, and then see this. The only thing we're missing is, I presume, it's just this because I don't have, and this, I don't have a great way for testing if allocations fail yet. I need to kind of create some kind of custom allocator and start handing them out to these things to be able to test those. No, because then I just have the exact same thing. I would still have cases where I've the fallback of the custom allocator would be the malloc allocator, which I still wouldn't be. Uh, still, a custom allocator may be a good idea. Regardless, that should be the last of what's necessary for these entity lists. <sighs> Assuming MSVC doesn't have a problem with uh, C code, this C code. Just 81 lines, much, a fair bit, which is just that kind of stuff, five lines stuff. So that'll be that. And then next time I return, it'll be back on the render system, adding the position data, which is why this exists, because I need to figure out if positions moved, then I want to update those position data in the graphics system. But if it hasn't moved, then like, don't bother updating it. There's no point. Just save, save the time. So until next time, cheers.